Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. Right, let's take a look at every Premier League club and find the best player in every team who will go to their grave without ever picking up a senior international cap. Of course, I could be hideously, hopelessly wrong on some of these, as I usually am. Right, let's go. Arsenal, Pablo Mari. All right, let's be honest. Alexander Lacazette is never going to pull on a French jersey again in his life. The man hasn't received a cap since 2017. There's more chance of him growing a third nipple on his face. Similarly, the only way Hector Bellerin is getting himself a fourth Spanish cap is if he bribes the Spanish FA. But there's a list for players who will go to their grave without a single cap ever, so these men do not count. And considering Mikel Arteta's squad is jam-packed with internationals, Christ above, even Shokra Mustafi, he's an actual World Cup winner, despite being clearly unable to work his actual feet. So the best Arsenal player not only doesn't have a cap, but won't ever get one, let's say Pablo Mari. He's a 26-year-old Spanish centre-back who's never even been capped on underage level. The chances of this former Man City and now Arsenal piece of bench-warming fluff ever playing for the Spanish national team is probably on par with me ever laughing at anything Adam Sandler ever says or does. Aston Villa Ezri Conta. Oh, I am tempted to pick Jack Green but even I know he will probably play for England soon enough. Price up, the British media's hype was enough to squeeze David Nugent into an English shirt, so Greenish should have no problem. One player who won't, Ezri Kanza. Is it just me who sees this guy as a clear Championship standard defender? He turns 23 this year and has a CV consisting of League One and Championship football with Charlton and Brentford. In his sole season in the top flight, he was part of a cardboard defence which conceded nearly 70 goddamn goals. Him playing for England, guard Southgate would sooner pick Phil Jones. And that says it all. Brighton, Neil Mopé. Yeah, I said it before, lads. I will gladly drink a bottle of horse pee if Neil Mopé ever winds up with the France team. Jory just scored 10 goals for Brighton last season. Great! Just a pity he was born in a country you can afford to leave Champions League strikers at home and still win the goddamn World Cup. This guy falls into the category of bang average mid-table French footballers that scored a few goals in the Premier League but still retired with zero caps. Like Johan Gouffran, Steve Mob Rank and Marc Antoine Fortune. Although Faba Timmy Gomez was bang average for Swansea and still played 12 times for France so uh oh good lord what have I done? Burnley bend me. Okay since Jamie Tarkovsky has already crawled under the pitch in an English shirt he's out. Instead set forward Ben Mee. Listen, this guy is a rock solid Premier League standard centre half. He's done brilliantly for Burnley over the last eight years, but he turns 31 next month and never even been given a sniff of an England cap. And with a standard of competition for places in Southgate squad, I guarantee that man probably doesn't have Mee's goddamn phone number. Chelsea, Tino Andrin. Okay, like Arsenal, Chelsea have squad filled with internationals. There's very few who haven't been capped. I suppose Billy Gilmore has yet to play for Scotland, but considering that country have called out footballers with the worst touch than local plumbers, I'm pretty sure they'll end up giving him a cap. Christ above, it'll probably get close to 100. Let's go for Tino Andrin. I know what you're thinking, writing off a fielder's international features to 18 years of age is absolutely ridiculous. But lads, it's Chelsea. Sure, he might be a half season talent, but we can already predict his fate. His potential will probably be strangled out on about eight consecutive loan deals away from the club, never given a chance to settle, and yeah, it will probably turn out to be the next Josh McCraigran. Crystal Palace, Scott Dan. Okay, Scott Dan knows this himself. He is never playing for his country. There was a bit of a flurry about him 10 years ago when the media was tipping in for the 2010 World Cup after a rock solid defensive season at Birmingham City, but it's a decade later, and not only as he been consistently overlooked for five consecutive tournaments. No England manager has even bothered to call him into the squad. To be fair, he's never been anything special, just a bottom half Premier League centre back. But the fact he's keeping a former French captain out of the Crystal Palace team, he might feel he warrants one or two caps at least. Everton, Tom Davies. Okay, this one is a call, considering the media hype about Tom Davies three years ago, when he absolutely tore Man City apart as a teenager, looking like Zidane in a 4 0 thumping back in January 2017. Half the national papers were tipping this guy to be the next Stevie G, a future England captain. Yeah, no. Let's be honest, this guy is lucky to be playing over 30 games a season for a club as big as Everton. He's a decent mid-table footballer but nothing else. I just think the competition in England's midfield is so goddamn strong and with the youth coming through, no, Davies is going to end up like Kevin Nolan or Mark Noble who are probably seriously bitter to the FA and previous England managers for not giving them at least 30 seconds on the Wembley turf. Fulham Joe Bryan. Okay let's get things straight. Joe Bryan is an absolute saint. A goddamn hero. A left back who made nearly 50 appearances for Fulham last season scoring twice in the playoff final. This man deserves the freedom of West London. Just close down the club and convert Craven Cottage with his own private house. I cannot underestimate just what a hero this man is, but having said that, he's 26, never played in the Premier League before, and so yeah, Southgate is not picking him. Leeds, Patrick Bamford. Yeah, good old Patrick Bamford, a guy who's kept my country on the hook, time and time again. We've tried multiple times to get him in an Ireland shirt. Fair enough, if you don't want to play for us, just say so. Don't keep leading us on, putting off the decision. It's clear he's holding out just long enough to get back in the Premier League and put himself back on Southgate's radar. Lad, you're a championship standard centre forward. Southgate isn't even going to want to look at you. And you know what? Such cold feet towards the Ireland gig has hopefully turned off the FAI. So have fun, enjoy the next 10 years of your life without playing.
playing for any country on the goddamn planet. Unless you manage to ruffle up a granny that was born in Sierra Leone, but I don't think that's going to happen. Lester Ayote Perez. Yeah, Ayote Perez is a 27-year-old, 30 million pound Lester signing with nearly 100 Premier League goals and still hasn't ever gotten a minute in a Spanish shirt. To be fair, I can see why. Not many Spanish scouts would have been jetting off to Newcastle every week, but still, there's a guy who said he rejected both Real Madrid and Barcelona to wind up in England. Lad, if that was the case, you think he'd be highly rated in Spain then? You know, I'd have to get him at least one cap. Something tells me the Real Madrid and Barcelona interest that he was talking about was probably about as credible as Jay's trials at West Ham that never happened. Again, you're 27, you've never played in a Liga match in your entire life. Pretty sure the Spanish FA probably don't even know you exist. Liverpool, Loris Carius. Let's go for Loris Carius. Yeah, bet you thought he was gone, banished forever, forgotten about, in prison for crimes against goalkeeping. Well, no, Liverpool fans, get ready, because the big man is back. And in his head, he's apparently already the number two Reds keeper. The amount of times Adria gets disrespected throughout his career, it's a bit like when the West Ham owner seemed to ignore his existence when praising Joe Hart. It's fair to say Adria wasn't too pleased. I mean, neither would I. But by 2017, Hart had all the reflexes of a soggy kitchen glove. But anyway, yes, Carries is back and somehow looks like he's going to be given a second chance at the club. Despite his mere existence at Anfield being a continuous reminder of European failure. Anyway, put that one disaster game out of your head. Forget the fact he played the final like a constipated badger. On his day, the 27 year old is a half decent keeper. We forget that season, he made 31 saves in 19 games, kept 11 clean sheets in the Premier League, and also had the most clean sheets in the Champions League that season with six. Having said that, will he ever be given a chance between the six for Germany? Not a chance. Manuel Neuer still has another three years left in the tank at least, while Barkter Stegen has over a decade. He's just a year older than Carius. If he does prove me wrong and end up playing for Germany, then fair enough. I'll do a six hour live stream of me milking cows on a farm, but it is just not going to happen. The man has already been thoroughly embarrassed at the highest level, become football's biggest meme. I'm not sure the German FA are really going to be falling over themselves to include him. But hey, if it happens, the man is my utmost respect. Not that he'd be particularly bothered. Man City, America Laporte. Okay, lads, if America Laporte goes to his grave without even one French cap, there's something seriously wrong. This guy is one of the best defenders on the planet. He turns 27 next season. This is the prime of his career. How is he not be given a cap? Christ above, the fellow was nearly forced to declare for Spain two years ago. People say it's injuries, but no. If Mamadou Sacco could have nearly 30 French caps and Laporte gets halfway through his career without even one, there must be something seriously weird going on. On. Man United, Brandon Williams. Oh, Man United fans will not like this one. Listen, I know Brandon Williams is the next big fullback at Man United, but is he really? How many local left backs have we seen come through at a club before being replaced and chucked back into the wilderness? Let's not forget, Liverpool fans were once tipping John Flanagan to last over a decade at Anfield. Yeah, how did that one turn out? Yes, Williams is versatile and hardworking, but with the standard of English fullbacks right now, he's not getting a cap anytime soon, and I'm predicting within five years he'll be a Preston North End left back. Newcastle, Alisson Maximin. Okay, don't get it wrong. I rate Alisson Maximin, and this fellow would start from most countries on planet Earth, but the France squad is a complete and utter joke. It is absolutely jam-packed with top-class talent, and unfortunately for St. Maximin, they're all pretty young as well. For Christ's sake, Anthony Martial is one of the most informed forwards in Europe right now, and hasn't been capped in two and a half years. So yeah, Maximin is an incredible dribbler, brilliant skills, but if he keeps scoring just three goals a season, he's got absolutely no chance. Sheffield United, John Lundstrom. Uh, okay, nothing against John Lundstrom. The 26-year-old's got a great engine on him and scored a few goals from the field this season, but even he knows he's never getting an England cap. And Everton reject, unfashionable and with a CV consisting of an league football, the guy turns 27 next season and spent most of the last campaign just desperately scrambling for a new contract at Bramble Lane. Yeah, no chance of an England cap. Southampton, Kyle Walker-Peters. Listen, Kyle Walker-Peters is a decent right back and in another year might well have been in contention for an England cap. Back in the days when Luke Young, Nicky Shorey and Paul Konchesky were apparently England fullbacks. Not now though, Christ. What is he, eighth choice right back for England? Their strength in that area is ridiculous. Even Max Ahrens can't get a look at and he's supposed to be one of England's biggest rising talents. Kyle Walker, Kieran Trippier, Trent Alexander, Arnold, Reese James, Max Arendt. Unless there's an outbreak of food poisoning in the England camp, Peters has got absolutely no chance. Tottenham, Luke Amos. Yeah, Tottenham have another squad filled with internationals. Even Paolo Gazinga has played for Argentina. Ryan Sessignon is their only first teamer waiting on his first international cap, and let's be honest, he is getting that one day. Christ above the media were almost falling over themselves to put him in the 2018 World Cup squad. It's almost as if they hadn't learned their lessons from Theo Walcott. I'll go for Luke Amos, a 23-year-old midfielder who just spent the season on loan of QPR. As far as England goes, no chance. West Brom, Charlie Austin. Let's be honest, Charlie Austin has missed the boat. Back in 2015, when he just backed home 18 goals in the top flight for QPR, that's when he might have got an England cap. Like when Andy Johnson did the same thing for Crystal Palace a decade earlier. It didn't happen though, and now he's a 31-year-old Southampton reject slash championship standard centre forward. Never in a million years. West Ham, Sebastian Haller. Okay, this might seem harsh considering Sebastian Haller is a 40 million pound centre forward and absolutely ripped under 21 international football to pieces. But lads, so did Dominic Solanke. As I've said, the standard of French forwards right now is so high that a guy sticking just seven goals for 
Otherwise, time after year, nobody in the French FA is even going to want to sniff in this guy's direction. Wolves Connor Cody. Yeah, Wolves have a squad filled with Portuguese internationals, and yet their captain is going to go to his grave without a single cap for England. Don't get me wrong, it's unfair. He's a 27-year-old centre half starting for a team competing in Europe and knocking on the door of the Champions League. What more does Connor Cody have to do to get himself an England cap? But again, Southgate has his favourites and has repeatedly neglected Chris Smalling, despite him being one of the best defenders in Serie A last season. Sorry, Cody, if it hasn't happened for you by now, it probably never will. Alright, that's the end of it, lads. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll talk to you in a while.